And rain is still falling right now in areas hit with tornado warnings tonight. Good evening. I'm Wendy Corona. Jovita Moore has the night off. I'm Justin Farmer, and this is the new video that we got here in the past hour showing the damage to homes in Walton County. We know the storm hit five homes, two with roof damage, two now with tree damage, and a 94 year old woman was able to barely escape. Our chief meteorologist, Glenn Burns, tracked the Doppler indicated tornadoes for more than an hour. But our live severe weather team two coverage begins with Channel 2's Nefertiti Jaquez. Damage in Walton County tonight, Neff, and the storm destroyed a cell tower. Deputies are going house to house looking for anyone who might be hurt. Justin County officials tell us earlier this evening one of their cell towers did go down. So deputies were going street to street and house by house, making sure that all of these residents were okay. Now let's take you right here behind me to one of the severely damaged homes here in Social Circle. There you see all of the trees in the perimeter of the house actually came crashing down on Edward Long's home. He says that moments after the tornado warning was issued for Walton County, heavy rain and damaging winds rumbled through his Social Circle neighborhood. Neighborhood. Long tells us that he and his 94 year old grandmother Ella narrowly escaped death when all of the trees on their property came crashing down. Now, this storm swept through Fair Play Road where they live, destroying people's homes while toppling trees and knocking down power lines. In all, county officials tell us that four homes along this street were severely destroyed, and then another home about a couple of streets down. And of course, when we talk to residents today, all of them saying as we come back out live to Edward Long's home that despite all of the damage that their neighborhood has endured, every single one of them told us that they were just happy that none of the residents were hurt or injured in this process, neither were the deputies. Or the firefighters. Of course, we have been in contact with county officials all evening long, and we will continue to get updates from them throughout the evening. So, once we have more, we will bring you the very latest. But again, we are live from Walton County, Nefertiti Jacquez, Channel 2, Action News Nightbeat. A lot of work to be done in the next couple of days, Neff. Thank you. Very resilient people there. And more storm damage to show you now. This tree fell onto the carport at a South Fulton County home. You can see it came up from the roots. This was on Lyle Terrace in College Park. A neighbor says lightning hit the tree, then it fell. The owner told us she saw the tree as she drove down the street, and then she realized it was her house. And people was trying to call me, and I didn't hear the phone ringing. I was in the grocery store. A crew was there working to clear the branches and the big old tree trunk. The owner told us police planned to watch her house throughout the night.